What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in Adobe Photoshop. Now in this tutorial series what I'm going to do is I'm going to start you guys from the very basics of Photoshop assuming that you guys have never even opened Photoshop before so I'm going to be taking you from a very beginner just getting uh, you know showing you the interface the very basic tools to some very advanced Photoshop techniques. So these tutorial series are pretty much for everyone. So sit back, relax, grab a hot pocket, and crack your knuckles and enjoy. Now, if you're watching this video because you know you heard of Photoshop before, but you aren't really sure what it is, and you just wanted to see a quick example, let me go ahead and tell you guys what Photoshop is. Even though I know a bunch of you guys already probably know what it is, and that's a program that you use to edit photos and images digitally. Now, you can use it to edit photos that you took with a digital camera, or you can also, you know, create your own graphics. For example, if you want to make a logo for your company, you can also use Photoshop to create new graphics, images, cartoons as well. Now, it's probably most well known for, you know, altering photos for like models and stuff, making, uh, you know, fat people like myself look skinny, or you can also use it to make skinny people look fat if you want. That'd be kind of weird. But anyways, I also already assume that, uh, I th I'm guessing you guys have it installed on your computer already. Um, it's really easy, just pop in the desk, press next, next, next a thousand times, it's installed. I didn't want to do tutorial of that because, you know, if you're using this program, you guys probably know how to install stuff. So, install it, open it up, and the first thing I want to do before I just open a photo and start editing it and, you know, getting real involved is I want to go over the interface real quick because once you open Photoshop you see all these menus and buttons and tools on the left hand side and all these tabs and it's kind of overwhelming at first so in the first couple tutorials I just want to show you guys how to navigate the interface or the layout and that's what I'm going to do in this tutorial so first of all let's go ahead and take a look at the right hand side and you see that the interface is made up of a bunch of different panels or I often call them tabs this swatches tab for example the color tab but technically they're called panels so I'll try to call them panels from here on out now Photoshop pretty much organizes a bunch of similar actions or a bunch of similar properties or settings in tabs for example the color tab is where you work with all your color um, you have different styles on the styles tab all your layers so they basically grouped a bunch of things together for you because there's like literally about 10 trillion and of course not literally but there's a ton of things in Photoshop and that's just how they organize things in panels or tabs so first of all I want to teach you guys how to open and close panels now right now we see that there's a swatches color adjustment styles layers channels and paths panel open now Photoshop actually has a lot more panels than this and if you ever want to open one or if I'm talking about a panel and you guys don't see it just go to this window menu and the one the options with the checkbox are the panels that are open and for example this histogram history info see how they don't have a check next to it that means that the panel is not open so if you know I say open your color tab or color panel just go ahead and make sure it has a checkbox and you're good to go so after that I want to show you guys how to collapse and expand these so if you have a bunch of different panels open things can get cluttered really quick as you can see this looks pretty cluttered already and we didn't even open any new ones so in order to collapse these go ahead and double click the name of the panel and whenever you do that you see how it collapses now swatches and color panel is now collapsed so we can actually collapse them all if we just double click and double click and it cleans everything up so let's say we only wanted to work with you know maybe the swatches panel we just go ahead and click that once and it would expand again but anyways that's how you collapse and expand panels by double clicking the name of them pretty sweet huh now another thing I want to mention is that panels are in groups so right now this swatches and color panel there are two different panels but they're in the same group the same window kind of so 
what you can do is Adobe Photoshop gave you the ability to customize your groups. So say that you work with the swatches and color panels a lot, so you don't want to keep clicking from tab to tab, back and forth, it can get kind of annoying. You want to put those in different groups. So you can take the color panel and if you actually go ahead and drag it, you can drop it into a whole nother group. So you can either drop it right here to make its own group or if you want to put it in this uh, group right here with adjustments and styles you can go ahead and drag it and drop it in there so again you can make a panel its own group or group it with other panels as well again this is all personal preference whatever the heck you want to do that's up to you now if you want to get super crazy you can actually have this um, well I guess we might as well work with the color panel so you can actually drag this and drop it right in this gray area and then it's going to turn into its own floating group so this pretty much gives you the feel of you know like Microsoft Windows where the windows are floating around but I usually like to have them in tabbed groups just like that but you know if you want to get crazy have that little window feel have it float around go ahead now the last couple things I want to talk about because I know you guys are probably falling asleep from this freaking tutorial already but uh you know we didn't you know turn any oranges in the robots or anything cool with images yet but a couple more things about the interface is you can also collapse and expand entire panel sets now what's a panel set well the panel set is pretty much this column of panels right here so if you are working on a big image and you want to hide this entire set then go ahead and click this little double arrow right there and it's gonna collapse this entire column give you some more space to work on your image now again there's actually two uh, sets right here in case you didn't notice so let's go ahead and expand both of these sets one right there and one right there so again through those things you pretty much uh, know now how to do everything as far as customizing your panels getting your layout exactly how you want it to now the last thing I want to uh, talk about panels and guys I'm I promise you guys this is the last thing I'm gonna say about panels and then I'll go on to something a little bit more interesting in the next video but you guys are like okay that's how you move panels around and you know expand them collapse them make them float like a window but what if I just want to get rid of a panel completely well what you can do the easiest way is just this say you want to get rid of this styles panel because you're like I don't even know what styles is I never use it I just want to get rid of it what you can do is you can either right click it and hit close or every group has a little drop down menu right here and this is just a menu to give you more options for example this swatches one if you just go ahead and um, choose that little menu it's gonna give you more options about the swatches panel obviously like any menu would do in any program so now that you are experts on Photoshop panels <laughs> we can move on to some more interesting topics you know something more useful and exciting but for this tutorial I just want to say thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions at all then you can ask me on my Twitter Google Plus or on my forum and I'll put a link below in the description so or you can you know just leave a YouTube comment but whatever so thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video